So most common thing that happens with magnets in your aquarium is they split, water gets in, salt water gets into the neodymium magnet, has bad stuff in it, and then it can kill your corals and fish. More than likely never going to come loose in your tank and ruin your tank. What's up, Reef Builders? Salem Clemens here at Reef of Palooza Orlando 2025. I'm at the saltwateraquarium.com booth with Terrence Fugazi of Avid Aqua. Terrence, hey. let's see what's new. Well, I don't know if you have a video out yet on Reef Builders about the product yet. I don't think so. So I'm going to start from the beginning if you don't mind. Yep. That's Go okay. Ahead. So ba the basic uh, building block of the Avid Aqua line right now is the Mod Mag. Uh, the Mod Mag is a magnet like many of them you've seen on things in your aquarium. The difference is we did the Mod Mag in a way it's not going to kill your tank. So the most common thing that happens with magnets in your aquarium is they split, water gets in, salt water gets into the neodymium magnet, has bad stuff in it, and then it can kill your corals and fish. Have you seen that happen before? Happens all the time. Okay, so uh, what we did is instead of using acrylic and glue to do it, we took ABS, it's molded, and then it is ultrasonically welded together around the magnet. And what that does is create a seal that's 500 times stronger than doing it with acrylic and with glue. Uh, this means it's more than likely never going to come loose in your tank and ruin your tank. And if you want to check it, you can always go like that. It's going to shake. And if it were to have water in it, then the magnet would corrode, rust, expand like you've seen many of them do and it would not shake like that. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, is that why have something with a magnet that only has one purpose? So the Mod Mag is actually a system that has a slide in both sides of it. Inside and outside magnets are identical, which means you can attach all kinds of things to it. One of the most obvious ones that came to us at first is the, uh, is a use a frag rack. And we've had these before we started with uh, uh, together with Slide Lock and Slide Lock and myself became Avid Aqua. Uh, he had one that looked very similar to this and this frag rack is unique in that has our patent pended, pending technology of using the silicone ribs uh, and in a line so you can have small frags and big frags next to each other without wasting any space, right? You can get as many as you want in there. But as you can see, it goes right onto the Mod Mag just like that. So the, the system itself allows for lots of different uh, types of devices, uh, probe holders, tubing holders, all kinds of things. But since there's also a vertical slot, now you can expand also. So in this case, now you've got double the amount of frags and all you have to do is buy this accessory. What's really neat too is on this frag rack, unlike ones that are on one plane, they don't shadow each other, the frags, and on top of that you get laminar flow over the frags as well, as opposed to having them all in the same space. So that's the Stingray frag rack system. You can have three of these on there. The standard magnets go to a half an inch on your tank. We also have our Giga magnet, which goes for three quarters of an inch in your tank. Uh, and, and you know, there's all kinds of devices and things that you can do, but it's not always on the inside of the aquarium. It's also on the outside of the aquarium. Up here you can see we have our WISE camera adapter, so you can take a standard WISE cam and slide it right into that adapter, slide it into the outside of your magnet, say on your frag rack, just like this one, it'll slide right into there, and now you can have a camera on your tank. And it even includes a lens on there, so that instead of having a focal range out here, it starts 10 inches from the camera. So you get more in the picture, you get things more in focus. Uh, and if you have other cameras that you want to use, this is out in two weeks. This is the Avid Cam accessory. You can mount your GoPro camera to it. You can mount any quarter 20 type of camera to it. And it comes with this really nice uh, uh, iPhone or your Galaxy type of, of connector on it. This slides right in into the outside. Whatever height you want. And now you're filming in your tank. Live stream. You can even put a GoPro on there and put it on the inside of the aquarium. And then what will that piece retail for? So. If we're talking prices, let's start from the beginning so you can understand. So this is the, the basic Stingray. This is $46 and includes the standard magnet. 
It runs about $17 for one of the accessories to get the next level. Um, and you can put up to two of those. And the new Avid Cam accessory by itself is $18. It's uh, uh, 45 or 40 or 45 with the magnets. Any warranties at all? Oh, good, good question. Probably the best one. Uh, yeah, all of the products from us have a lifetime warranty. So if your magnet isn't going to leak on its own in the aquarium, let's say you drop it on the floor or something happens, we don't care. Send us an email. We'll get you out a new magnet. You happen to break your frag rack, send us a picture. We'll send you out a new one. Lifetime warranty. Awesome. Anything else you want to touch on at all? Let's yeah. talk about something on the probe holders. Yep. Okay. Okay. So this is the uh, this is the the four probe probe holder. It's called the Quattro. Uh, there's a few really neat things about this probe holder. First, you're going to notice that there's no thumb screws that are going to break your probes or get stuck after a year in the aquarium. Um, everything fits in, friction fit. They don't lean to the side. They don't fall over or anything. And this funny thing that you're looking at is a way to adapt uh, your smaller temp probes like the Hydros temp probe or even the heating controller ones that you have, the small little bullet ones, so it will fit in here and hold. And then it also comes with these cool little guide tubes that go here in the back that you can put your trident tubes or other water pickup tubes, those skinny tubes down in there so they're not all flying around your sump. And again, just like anything else, you have the outer magnet as well. And that you can just slide in things just like that camera mount that I showed you before, the Avid Cam. Why are you gonna want this on your probe holder? What if you have an all-in-one aquarium? You can have this in the back looking at the top down. What if you have it in your sump and you wanna look at your water level in your sump or if your skimmer's overflowing? So there's all kinds of reasons to, to have stuff mounted on the inside and the out. So sometimes you don't need to have four probes in your probe holder. You have a, an Apex Junior, for instance. It's got a temperature and a pH probe only. Maybe you only need two. Maybe you don't wanna take up a bunch of space in the back of an all-in-one. There's a two probe probe holder. And then for all you people who are dosing, which is pretty much everybody's gonna dose something in their aquarium, we have a dosing tube holder that holds five of the quarter inch tubes and two of the three eighths tubes. And now that allows you to have for your water top off or for any of your dosing that you need to do. Okay guys, so that's about it that uh, we have here at the show for you. We've sold out of just about everything. Um, everybody always asks, what's next? What's coming? Well, we don't tell you exactly what's coming, but I can guarantee you that our motto is really innovate and iterate, okay? so. We're going to probably have something new at every one of the trade shows throughout the year and into next year and into the following year after that because that's what makes reefing fun and we're about the passion and the hobby. So thanks for taking a look. Thanks.